Well, when you have a canister, you know it's getting real. Thanks for tuning in to Bourbon Drop. I'm your host, Myron. Today, our special guest, the truth, Colonel Edmund Haynes Taylor. With that being said, came across Colonel E.H. Taylor, um, I stood in line, there was an ABC store drop. Most guys stood in line overnight, hoping to get their hands on uh, George T. Stagg 2020, or Well of Full Proof. I had a chance to get my hands on Well of Full Proof. Had a chance to get my hands on Old Force 150th Anniversary, passed it up. Had a chance to get my hands on Elijah Craig 18, passed it up. Passed it all up for Colonel E.H. Taylor. I had never had the small batch, so I was kind of interested in trying this one out. I had heard so many great things about it. Got it home, cracked it open. I was a little disappointed. Maybe I'm a burger critic. I don't know. I There are certain things that I like. I like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Most of the Elijah Craig stuff, I just, I find enjoyable. There is a certain note that just hits me right every time with Elijah Craig. I'm a big bean fan. I like Buffalo Trace products. I don't love them. And I found out that I don't love this. As much as people chase it, I don't love it. I like it a lot, but I don't love it. And I actually want to do a blind with it. Should I do a blind tonight? We'll see. Good nose. The nose is good already. Buffalo Trace just gives you cherry in the nose all the time, man. It's it's caramel, it's oak. It's uh just like a lemon. Lemon slices, a lemon peel. It's citrus, it's a very, it's 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 citrusy, it's everything you would think a lemon would be. It's lime, it's got like lime, citrus, all some just citrus, very citrusy. The cherry does go away a little bit. Once I get into the sip, things tend to come back. See, a little air in it, cherry's right back. Not a big punch of alcohol, but it's there. It's a little bit of alcohol there. It's honey, it's tea, it's lemon. It's bottled and bond, so it's at least four years old, but it tastes older than that. It tastes like, like old oak. See, this is the lemon that I get sometimes, and it's a. This is lighter. Sometimes there's a very concentrated, strong lemon that I do not like, out of ultra aged bourbons and out of actually things like Stag Junior. Tea, honey, spice. Everything nice. It's it no. It's it's good. It's pleasant. It's an easy drinker. It's not. It doesn't go down rough. It has a sweet finish. The finish just kind of 
goes away quickly. I don't want to say it just drops off, but it does go away quickly, but it has a sweet finish. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Do I love it? No. Would I stand in line from what I left the house at five o'clock? Would I stand in line from five o'clock in the morning until ten o'clock in the morning again for it? No. Would I pay retail for it again? Yes. I, I do think it's that good. I would pay sixty dollars for this bottle right here. This is one of the few sixty dollar bottles, especially at hundred proof, that I would pay sixty dollars again for. It. Do I love it? No. No. It has. It's very good. I would offer this to, like I said before, if you have a bourbon drinker that comes over that is not a big bourbon drinker, and you know that they won't mix the good stuff with Coke, or they won't want to just pour it directly down the drain, I would offer them this. This right here, it's good. Would I stand in line four or five hours again in the cold? No. A buddy of mine, he was lucky. He was one of the lucky few to get the George C. Stag 2020. That's when uh, Virginia ABC didn't release all of the 2020 stock that they had and they kept it for the year 2021. Would I have made another decision if I was in line again? I probably would have went with the Old Forest the 150th anniversary edition. And the reason why I didn't go with that is because I started reading reviews online and the reviews online said that it had hints of dill. And I do not like a dill note. I do not like a dill note in my bourbon. I love pickles. I love pickles. I'll eat them all day. I'll eat them on sandwiches. I'll eat them by themselves. I do not like that note in my bourbon. It just doesn't sit well with me. 100 proof, $60, no break. I mean, I, I would I would do it. It's, it's, the, it's good enough for me to say I would do it again. Is it worth the chase? No, honestly it isn't. I like it a lot. But I would not stand in line another five hours again to get a bottle of it. I would stand in line another five hours for George C. Stag 2020. That was some of the best bourbon I've ever had in my life. I wish I still had some to put it side by side with the bottle of Old Forester that I have, which currently sits at the top of my list. It's an Old Forester single barrel barrel proof. It is 131 point something proof. My buddy, he's already ran through the bottle, so, and he was pissed because he said he had family come over and they were mixing it with all types of stuff. Now, good bourbon, in my opinion, look, don't get me wrong when I say this. Good bourbon, in my opinion, stands alone. It doesn't need anything to help it. A lot of times, guys will give bourbon a chaser to help it go down. If you give bourbon a chaser to help it go down, then you shouldn't be drinking it. I, I shouldn't have said that. Bourbon is best the way you like it. Myself, I like a good bourbon that doesn't need anything to help it go down. Does this need anything to help it go down? No. George T. Stagg, if someone mixed that with Coke or ice, I would probably lose my mind. It is that good. It is, it, it is really that good. But I'll say this. Colonel E.H. Taylor, is it worth the chase? No. Do I, would I like to have a bottle on the bar? Yes. Would I pay over retail for it? Thirty dollars, as you know, thirty dollars is my limit. Would I pay over retail for it? More than likely, I would pay thirty dollars over retail. You're not going to get this bottle for ninety dollars. But if it, if I had the chance to purchase it for ninety dollars, yes. The problem is the small batch goes for ninety nine dollars. I've seen the small batch in stores in California for ninety nine dollars, and that was at the that was at the Las Vegas ABC. I was out there with my wife. We were out on a vacation. I said, well, let me hit the local liquor store. So I hit the Las Vegas ABC. Go in there. They have small batch for $99. And I saw small batch for $35, I think it was, at the local Virginia ABC. I just wasn't ahead enough in line to get a bottle. So it, I can't see myself paying that much more than retail when it comes to a small batch something that I really don't know the ages of the bourbon that are in it and I really don't know the flavor profile that I'm going to get. Now of course small batch is made so they can keep the flavor profile a little more consistent. I, I am satisfied with the EH Taylor single barrel. 
Uh, 60 bucks, I do it again all day long. $90, I do it again all day long. Anything over that, I'm out. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Till next time.